Item number three, presentation of budget estimate and annual financial statement. The Deputy Chief Minister and Minister in Charge of Finance may present the budget estimate and annual physical statement for the year 2024-25. Honorable Speaker, sir, with your permission, <coughs> I rise to present the annual budget for the year 2024-25 to this August House of Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all esteemed members for their resounding victories in the recent election. Your dedication and commitment to serving the people of Arunachal Pradesh have been duly recognized and I commend you all for your hard-earned success. Special congratulations are in order for our newly elected members. Your entry into this esteemed assembly marks not just a personal achievement, but a commitment to the aspirations and hopes of the people who have placed their trust in you. Your fresh perspective and enthusiasm are invaluable as we embark on this journey of governance and progress together. I would like to acknowledge the, acknowledge the resolute support of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and our uh, Chief Minister Sri Pema Khandu ji. Over the past eight years, we have been driven by development, decisiveness, and doorstep delivery, empowered by the double-engine government, and guided by our commitment to development. We have achieved remarkable financial growth. Since 2016, we have witnessed about 135% increase in gross state domestic product, 105% rise in per capita income, and 186% expansion in the state budget as it reached uh, rupees 35,840.79 crore in BE 2024-25. Honorable Speaker, sir, I am happy to share with you that in the Sustainable Development Goal, or the SDG scoreboard for year 2023-24, Arunachal Pradesh has entered the group of front-runner state. While it was a performer state in SDG survey in the year 2020-2021, our overall SDG score has improved from 60 to 65. And out of 15 SDG goals of northeastern region, in Northeastern Region Index, the goals for zero hunger, good health, and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, decent work and economic growth, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, and climate action are the nine areas where we have improved significantly. However, we, are, we still have to do a lot of hard work. In future, we shall pursue all SDG goals with a saturation approach. Our immediate focus should be to sustain the momentum on these nine goals where we improve and work on the remaining eight goals of no poverty, affordable and clean energy, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduce inequalities, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, a strong institution, and partnership for the goals. Due to the concerted efforts of our government, we have reduced multidimensional poverty from 24.23% in 2015-16 to 13.76% uh, in 2021. This has been a significant achievement by our government and has been recognized by the Government of India as part of the Multidimensional Poverty Index released by the Niti Aayog. This 10.64% poverty reduction in just three years speaks volume of our efforts and the perseverance of our citizens towards a vixit or natural. Honorable Speaker, sir, this is the first budget of the new government formed by the, over, uh, by the overwhelming mandate of the people during this Amrit Kal. Our vision is people-centric and progressive. 
थ्रू मोदी की गारंटी वी कमिट टू फुलफिल द एस्पिरेशंस ऑफ एवरी पर्सन एस्पेशली आवर यूथ वुमेन एंड फार्मर्स स्टे ऑन दिस डेजेक्टरी बाय द टाइम वी कंप्लीट द थर्ड टर्म देर शुड बी नो डेवलपमेंट गेप्स इन आवर अरुणाचल प्रदेश इन आवर करंट टेन्योर वी शेल बी गाइडेड बाय द ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव आइडिया ऑफ विकसित भारत विकसित अरुणाचल एज एन विजन बाय आवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी आवर गवर्नमेंट इज कमिटेड टू एन इंक्लूसिव बजेट लाइक एवरी प्रीवियस ईयर ऑफ आवर गवर्नमेंट वी हैड हेल्ड एक्सटेंसिव कंसल्टेशन वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग द रोड मैप फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर द डिपार्टमेंट्स वेर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्रोवाइड इनपुट्स एंड आइडियाज वेर इन्वाइटेड फ्रॉम द पब्लिक ऑनलाइन थ्रू आवर जन भागीदारी पोर्टल द थ्री बेस्ट आइडियाज आर गोइंग टू बी रिवॉर्डेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट टूडे वी हेल कंसल्टेशन विद कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस हैज बीन अ पिवटल एक्सरसाइज द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ सी बी ओ इनपुट्स इन टू गवर्नमेंट गवर्नेंस प्रोसेस हैज एनहेंस ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड इंक्लूसिविटी फोस्टरिंग स्ट्रॉगर कम्युनिटी गवर्नमेंट पार्टनरशिप थ्रू दिस बजेट एंड द रिफॉर्म्स 3.0 पॉइंट जीरो जर्नी वी एम टू ले द फाउंडेशन फॉर बिल्डिंग ए विकसित अरुणाचल बाय ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन एंड अरुणाचल वेर देर इज नो लिमिट टू ड्रीम्स ऑफ आवर यूथ आवर अमृत पीढ़ी इन दिस न्यू टर्म्स एंड न्यू बजेट ईयर वी हैव केयरफुली एसेस द ऑन द ग्राउंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड आउटकम ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस अनाउंसमेंट एंड एडजस्टेड the budget accordingly this approach has brought in a result oriented approach that is yet another hallmark of our good governance we shall all agree that there is a plethora of schemes ongoing in the state now our priority should be to ensure completion of these schemes and the last mile projects in this budget i shall focus on three pillars healthy human resource robust infrastructure and vibrant economy centered around the enabling ecosystem of good governance and secure environment i am pleased to note that our focus on development as we are presenting in this budget aligns perfectly with this year's union budget's nine priorities as well be it on atmanirbhar schemes or our saturation approach to facilitate all our anandata farmers we are continuously aiming for productivity and resilience in agriculture and our efforts to facilitate our youth indigenous population women and the vulnerable groups and enhancement of social security net are a testament to our resolve for inclusive human resource development and social justice together these priorities align with our budget pillars of healthy human resource towards our next pillar of vibrant economy our focus on industrialization and skill development mirrors the union budget priorities on manufacturing and services and employment and skilling further as you are aware we are fostering a strong startup ecosystem with this year's focus on establishing incubation hubs at higher secondary institutes this aligns with the union budget's priority of innovation research and development with respect to our third budget pillar on robust infrastructure coupled with our smart urbanization strategies we have managed to capture and reflect the union budget priorities on infrastructure and urban development in addition i am proud to say that arunachal pradesh hydropower initiatives can be some of the biggest contribution to country's energy security finally with due reference uh, our consistent achievement on governance reform and prudent financial management and with further emphasis on youth in this year's budget we have taken a strong resolve to bring in the next generation reforms for the development of our st- state i thank honorable union finance minister for presenting a budget in alignment with the people's aspiration and the vision for a developed india this also instills further confidence to us the policy makers of this state that we are on the right path of development in this budget 
I shall focus on three pillars, healthy human resource, robust infrastructure, and vibrant economy, centered around the enabling ecosystem of good governance and secure environment. This is this presentation of my 10th full budget as the Minister of Finance. Coming to the current financial situation, I would like to inform this August House that the gross state domestic product was estimated at Rs. 37,870 crore in BE 2023-24, Rs. 48,028 crore in RE 2023-24, and Rs. 47,823 crore in BE 2024-25 at current prices as per the communication received from the Ministry of Finance. I would like to share with honorable members the resource position of the state and the projections for the current financial year. During 2023-24, the share of central taxes as per union budget estimate was estimated <coughs> at Rs. 17,947 crore. I am pleased to share that the share the same has been enhanced to Rs. 21,913.50 crore in budget estimate 2024-25. I extend my sincere thanks to Honorable Union Minister of Finance for additional allocation of share of central taxes to the tune of Rs. 1,459 crore in revised estimate 2023-24, which has been of substantial help in covering our ongoing capital expenditure. Further, I welcome the initiatives of Honorable Union Minister of Finance for, uh, for front-loading the installments of share of central taxes for timely distribution to these states. I also extend my sincere gratitude to Honorable Union Minister of Finance for substantially enhancing allocations under the 50 years interest-free loan under special central assistance schemes to the state for capital expenditure. In the budget estimate of 2024-25, we are in a position to project revenue receipt of Rs. 31,000 267 crore and capital receipts of rupees 4,573 uh, 4, crore, making total receipt of rupees 35,841 crore, which is 21% more than the total estimate receipt of rupees 29,657 crore in BE 2023-24. Our share of central taxes has been pegged at Rs. 21,432 crore as per Union Budget Vote on Accounts 2024-25, which as the highest source of resource for the state is a significant 19% more than the BE 23-24. In addition, we have projected state's own tax revenue at Rs. 2,953 crore. The non-tax revenue for 2024-25 uh, is estimated at Rs. 1,054 crore. Thus, our total estimated state's own resource generation is 4,007 crore during 2024-25, which is almost 17% more than the BE 23-24. Our focus will be on further optimizing the state's own resources and increasing GST allocation. In the budget estimate of 2024-25, uh, we are projecting revenue expenditure of uh, rupees 25,931.87 crore as against the budget estimate of rupees 23,094.80 crore in 23-24. In the budget estimate of 24-25, the capital expenditure including loan component is estimated at rupees 9,533.34 crore as against budget estimate of rupees 6,418.02 crore in 23-24. We shall continue to prioritize capital expenditure to ensure sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Our fiscal deficit uh, in the previous year was estimated at rupees 7,058.25 crore that is 2% of the GSDP in BE 2023-24, and at rupees 1,200.90 crore, that is 
5% of the GSDP in the revised estimate for the year 23-24. This year we shall keep fiscal deficit within limit prescribed by the Arunachal Pradesh Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management that is FRBM Act 20, 2006. By adhering to the prudent fiscal management, we have not defaulted on any commitment in terms of loan repayment, salaries and pension. Honorable Speaker, sir, centrally sponsored schemes play a crucial role for our citizens and we are implementing them in mission mode with wholehearted support from the Government of India. It gives me great pleasure to state that we have achieved 100% saturation in 5 out of 14 flagship, that is CSS scheme. Under Jal Jivan Mission, we have ensured functional tap water connection for 100% of households. Under PM Kisan Sanman Nidhi, we extended financial support of rupees 6,000 per year to more than 1 lakh 14 lakh, uh, more than 1.14 lakh farmers. <coughs> Soil health card were issued to 1, 000, 1 lakh 14,584 farmers and Kisan credit cards were issued to 96,492 farmers. We oversaturated the Mission Amrit Sarobar by completing 2044 projects. Under the PM Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana, we provided free good grains to our 8 lakh beneficiaries. We have made good progress in seven more schemes which are near 90% saturation and are expected to be completed by this calendar year. Completion of PMAY, urban and gramin shall provide pakka houses to over 40,000, 42,000 of our citizens, while PM Swanidhi shall ensure access to finance over for over uh, 8,000 of our street vendors, brothers and sisters. We have made good progress in extending safety nets to our citizens through Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Jivan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Atal Pension Yojana. We shall reach our saturation target soon. With 94% saturation in the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana for roads, we have already built over 13,000 kilometers of roads connecting the remotest habitations. PMGSY for, bri uh, for bridges have a saturation target of 237 bridges which shall be completed in mission mode. 100 days agenda of the new government. Honorable Speaker Sir, following the formation of the new government, the state cabinet convened for its first meeting and identified 24 citizen-centric agenda that are to be implemented within the first 100 days of the new government. I am laying out these 24 decisions and request honorable members for their wholehearted support in timely implementation of these decisions. We are committed to the complete computerization of treasuries and implementation of integrated financial management system, enabling, enabling all government payments to be met exclusively through digital means and boosting transparency and efficiency, efficient fiscal management. We shall introduce bottom-up planning involving preparation of district level vision and development plans in consultation with stakeholders ensuring effective and inclusive development at the last mile. We will strengthen Office of the Division Commissioner and Deputy Commissioners to enhance effective governance, expedite decentralized decision making <coughs> and improve last mile citizen service delivery. We are committed to enhance the ease of living, quality of life of citizens, and improving ease of doing business. Our government will closely examine the existing compliance for uh, scheme applications, recommend drastic reduction in compliances, discourage seeking unnecessary information from the citizens. We are also closely examining the scope for further repeal of old and uh, archaic laws. We aim to create a golden repository of citizen data for the state to ensure proactive schemes enrollment and service delivery with minimal documentation. 
This will facilitate faster access to schemes, benefit, and entitlement, streamlining the enrollment process for eligible beneficiaries, and reduce scope for duplicate and ineligible beneficiaries of schemes. We shall establish the Institute for Transforming Arunachal, a state-level policy think tank and knowledge partner to drive innovation in governance and enable the socio-economic transformation of the state. We shall notify the Administrative Reform Commission to examine and provide recommendations for improving the organizational structure, recruitment and staffing policies to build a lean, efficient and agile administrative framework with maximum option of technology. <coughs> We are committed to ensuring 100% physical and digital connectivity to all unconnected villages and administrative headquarters. We are preparing a detailed action plan for the full-fledged implementation of the National Education Policy 2020 in the state to provide universal access to education, improve learning outcomes, and pass percentage of students and develop 21st century skills among students and improve efficiency and efficacy of teaching by rigorous training. We are formulating an effective policy enabling top educational institutions to set up campuses in Arunachal Pradesh and to encourage participation of community-based organizations, NGOs, and other CSOs in the field of education. We aspire to become an education hub for the entire Northeast region. <coughs> We are also in process of revamping the Dulari Kanya scheme, providing incentives up to rupees 50,000 to every girl child from the Arunachal Pradesh enrolling in graduation or professional courses. In line with the vision laid out by the government of India, we are committed to empower at least 21,000 women from Arunachal Pradesh to become Lakpati DDs over the next five years, earning an annual income of more than uh, rupees 1 lakh and achieve a higher standard of living and inclusive growth. We shall soon notify a new farm to fork agriculture and industrial policy focusing on natural farming, higher farm gate prices, enhanced market linkages and exports of crops, fruits, vegetables and flowers. We are committed to the welfare of the weaker sections of the society to ensure dignity of life improve quality of life for widows, elderly, and Dibyangs. We shall be revising guidelines of the Chief Minister's Social Security Scheme, providing for the wider coverage of beneficiaries and enhancement of the pension amount. <coughs> we are committed to the 100% situation of direct benefit transfer, leveraging uh, the Jandhan, Aadhaar, Mobile, Trinity for all amenable schemes ensuring faster and accurate payment to the beneficiaries, removable of all ineligible beneficiaries, ensuring financial savings for both the government and the citizens. We shall also create a real-time digital inventory of all public infrastructure in the state, especially schools, hospitals, health centers, anganwadi, kandras, etc., to identify scope for improvement and upgradation of such infrastructure and has ease of access for citizens and efficient uses of public assets. <coughs> we are working to revive, revise the existing Itanagar Nahalagan Twin Capital City Master Plan to enable the capital city to become future ready and make significant improvement in city life for citizens. The need of for building a skilled and meritocratic, uh, meritocratic works Force in essential for is essential for ensuring the smooth and efficient functioning of the administrative and governance mechanism. Therefore, we shall identify all existing vacancies in departments for preparation of annual recruitment clear calendars. <coughs> we shall launch the skill development entrepreneurship employment that is known as SEE Trinity to completely reorient entire ecosystem in the, uh, in the interest of the youth and provide 24,000 plus employment and self-employment opportunities for the youth in the next five years. 
We shall dedicate to the youth of Arunachal Pradesh an innovative youth policy, focusing on youth aspirations, education, skilling, health, including mental health, entrepreneurial aspirations, community involvement, participation in governance mechanisms, etc. Sportspersons from Arunachal Pradesh have been winning laurels in various national and international events. However, more sustained efforts need to be made for participation in the Olympic Games, Asian Games, etc. Therefore, we, are, we shall launch the Arunachal Olympic Sports Mission for higher potential sportsperson enabling, enabling participation from Arunachal Pradesh in the year 2028 and 2032 Olympic Games. We extend our heartfelt thanks. We extend our heartfelt thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and the Government of India for launching the Unnati schemes with an outlay of Rs. 10,037 crore for boosting industrialization and investment in the Northeast region. To dovetail with the Unnati scheme, we shall notify a new Arunachal industrial policy to push investment in specific sectors and non-polluting industries in Arunachal Pradesh. We shall also identify, notify a new Arunachal Pradesh handloom and handicraft policy and uh, one tribe, one whip mission to protect and promote indigenous textiles, handicraft, etc., providing enhanced incomes for artisans, market linkages, and enabling application for geographical indications tags. <coughs> Arunachal Pradesh has immense tourism potential. To leverage the untapped tourism potentials, government will notify a new tourism policy including film, farm, wine and ecotourism, homestay policy to provide holistic experiences to domestic and foreign tourists, attract investment and provide employment and self-employment opportunities for our youth. 2024-25 Year of Youth युवा शक्ति का वंदन अभिनंदन करने मैं आया हूँ नई उमंगों को फिर से मैं नब में उड़ाने लाया हूँ। We are one of the India's youngest states. We are also one of the India's most aspirational states, where significant focus has always been on fostering the development, growth, and empowerment of our young population. Therefore, to further underscore our commitment and gratitude for the significant role our youth are playing in the development of the nation and the state, I am proud to declare 2024-25 as the year of youth. Arunachal Pradesh Budget 2024-25 comprehensive focus on education, sports, employment, entrepreneurship, and agriculture uh, positions it as the transformative year for the youth. By declaring 2024-25 the year of youth, the government reaffirms its commitment to nurturing the potential of young people, ensuring they have <coughs> the opportunities, resources, and support to achieve their dreams and contribute to the state's and nation's progress. Honorable Speaker, sir, the year of youth is an acknowledgement and tribute towards the role and responsibilities of our youth. Our Amrit Piri has in, has in building a Pikasit Bharat and Pikasit Arunachal. In moving ahead with this year's budget speech, I commit at the outset to allocate a minimum of Rs. 100 crore towards various activities for the empowerment and fulfilling aspirations of our youth. These include a holistic and inclusive approach across various sectors focusing on health, education, skill upgradation, tourism, sports, etc. As our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has said, Bharat is a proclamation of youth power of India. This powerful statement underscores the pivotal role that the youth play in shaping the future of our nation. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, or Modi ji also emphasized that India's Yuva Shakti is our greatest strength, highlighting the boundless potential and energy that young Indians carry. 
Our government aims to provide access to every deserving youth for fulfilling their higher educational aspirations. To fulfill these overarching <coughs> aims, we had launched the Golden Jubilee Merit Awards in 2022, providing one-time financial assistance of Rs. 2 lakh to students gaining admission into premier educational institutions, institutes. To further enhance ease of access for our youth to higher education and help them become partners in the growth of Vikasit Bharat, the government will pay 100% tuition and hostel fee for all APST young gaining admission into all undergraduate courses in Indian Institutes of Technology. The inauguration of Donipolo Airport, Arunachal Pradesh's first greenfield airport, has connected, uh, con connected us into the national aviation map for the first time since independence. However, high cost of training for commercial pilot licenses at, uh, often deters our youth from pursuing career as pilots. Therefore, I am delighted to announce that the state government will cover 75% of the training and associated fees for obtaining commercial pilot licenses from the recognized government institute in the country like Indra Gandhi Rashtriya Uran Academy. We shall target to support up to 10 youth in the coming years. We shall similarly support up to 10 youth in the coming years to obtain training and certification for merchant navy courses through government recognized institutes in the country. We shall also launch the innovative Arunachal Pradesh Scholarship for Academic Excellence schemes. Under this, we shall provide scholarship to all APST youth gaining admission in undergraduate and postgraduate courses up to top 150 global universities as per QS World University Ranking. This scholarship would include payment of 75% of tuition fees, on-campus uh, residence fee, on-campus residence fee, and airfare to and fro from university, and also medical insurance premium charges. As a mark of respect towards the valor and courage of our Agnivirs, we shall launch Arunachal Agnivir Aviyan to train the youth for career in armed paramilitary police forces. In addition, I am pleased to announce that we shall provide preference to retired Agnivirs from Arunachal Pradesh in recruitment as constables in Arunachal Pradesh Police, Arunachal Pradesh Battalion, Emergency and Fire Services. Our commitment to nurturing creativity and culture remains steadfast. We shall establish Arunachal Pradesh Society for Music and Arts, dedicated to the sporting, <coughs> supporting, dedicate, dedicated to supporting young artists, musicians, and writers. The society will provide platforms and opportunities for our youth to thrive in their artistic endeavors. We are committed to strengthening our democratic process and ensuring that our youth are actively involved in shaping our future. To this end, we shall conduct youth parliament at both local and state level, providing a platform for young voices to influence decision-making and governance. Accordingly, we shall invest in comprehensive leadership training programs aimed at empowering our next generation of leaders. The Arunachal Yuba Samannai is one of the flagship program of the state government, serving as a vital platform for fostering skills, creativity, and social awareness among the youth. Following the participation in the previous edition, we obliged that <coughs> we believe that the time is ripe for the revamp of Arunachal Pradesh Yuba Samannai with an increased focus on educational and skill building activities as part of the program. Recognizing the critical importance of uh, health and well-being, especially amongst our youth, we shall organize life skill sessions in all government colleges and schools aiming at promoting a healthier lifestyle amongst our youth. Further, I am pleased to announce that the launch of the Chief Minister's Youth Helpline, offering 24 into 7 free cost telephonic counseling service for the youth. Similarly, establishment of youth resource center will empower the youth of, by offering a range of programs that may include educational support,
काउंसलिंग कैरियर गाइडेंस एक्सेट्रा एंड सब ए सेफ स्पेस स्पेसेस फॉर वेयर यंग पीपल कैन एक्सेस स्पोर्ट्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर पर्सनल ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स टैलेंट हंड हैज बीन ए पायोनियरिंग एक्टिविटी इन द स्टेट विथ वेरियस एनुअल कैलेंडर इवेंट सच एज मिस्टर अरुणाचल मिस अरुणाचल अरुणाचल आइडल एक्सेट्रा फ्रॉम दिस ईयर ऑनवर्ड वी शेल बी एडिंग ए न्यू एनुअल कैलेंडर इवेंट फॉर क्विज कॉम्पिटिशन एंड स्पेलिंग बीज यूथ ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश आर ब्लेस्ड विथ इमेंस टैलेंट ऑफ पोटेंशियल I have no hesitation in saying that our youth can compete with the best in the world in any field. Therefore, to provide an opportunity for our youth to display their creativity in various fields such as theater, music, singing, dance, painting, artistry, debating competition, etc., we shall conduct youth confluence events in Itanagar this year and expand to cover other uh, cover uh, other district headquarters. in subsequent years i am pleased to state that here that our government's initiative in promoting youth engagement and cultural vibrancy have been noteworthy we have expanded volunteers programs under nss nyks ncc and bharat scouts and guides going forward this year we shall establish youth desk in arunachal bhavan in kolkata guwahati and delhi to provide the much needed support to our youth residing in this metros i also propose to conduct annual rozgar melas in five river basins of kameng subansri siang dibang and lohit together we are investing in our youth securing a vibrant future for a vikasit arunachal this year i propose to allocate rupees 30 crore for the department of youth affairs The youth of Arunachal Pradesh are a source of pride for the state, showcasing exceptional talent and achieving remarkable success in sports at national and international level. To build on this success and ensure even greater participation in prestigious events, I am pleased to announce the launch of the Arunachal Olympic Mission. Our goal is to secure a strong presence in Arunachal Pradesh. in the uh, in the year 2028 2032 olympic game we shall support sports person with high potential with providing them access to best in class coaching and men- mentorship facilities in the meantime we shall keep supporting our sports person to participate in national games and national ga- uh, north east game and provide grants in aid to the arunachal olympic association We shall also aim for revival of the state Olympic Games to be held every two years. We shall and we shall promote school games <coughs> where indigenous games will be prominently featured. We shall continue to support and conduct the Hangpan Dada Memorial Trophy. Arunachal Pradesh has recently hosted 77th edition of the Santos Trophy National Football Championship. This was the first time that this prestigious championship was hosted in a northeastern state <coughs> like Arunachal Pradesh. I take this opportunity to thank all stakeholders who made this venture successful to further upgrade our capacity to regularly host national and international events. We shall set up a 25,000 plus capacity football stadium of FIFA standards in Itanagar. The establishment of new national level stadiums at Pasighat, Jiro, Dapurizo, Teju, Alo and Chimpu alongside facilities like Golden Jubilee Outdoor Stadium in Upia and the DK Badminton Academy underscores our commitment to nurturing future generation of athletes. This year we shall take up up uh, retrof- uh, retrofitting of Many stadiums in Anini and construction of outdoor stadium in district headquarters, which do not have such facilities in a phased manner. We shall also work towards the completion of three stadiums at Chimpu, Alo, and Teju, and fast track establishment of the permanent site of the State Sports Academy Miao <coughs> in Changlang District. <coughs> Last year, we have constructed ten futsal. ground in our states in the last uh, in the next phase we shall construct 
10 more. We shall also construct 10 basketball courts in districts through public-private partnership. We shall also aim to uh, build a sports tourism ecosystem in collaboration with the National Institute of Mountaineering and Adventure Sports to impart certificate courses for our youth. Overall, I am proposing for an allocation of rupees 116 crore for the sports sector. We proudly align our efforts with the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji with unwavering dedication to the advancement of our state's educational infrastructure and community engagement. Today, I am honored to announce the launch of Arun Schools for Rising India mission in harmony with Prime Minister's Schools for Rising India mission, <coughs> PM3 mission, which is known as, to elevate the quality of education in our schools. This initiative aims to perform transform our educational landscape through significant upgrades and modernization. I'm pleased to uh, place on record the outcomes of our efforts till now. As part of the 2024 SDG scoreboards, we have achieved 100% adjusted net enrollment rate in elementary education, a jump by nearly 20% from 2020-21. Our average annual school dropout rate at secondary levels dropped down to 11.7%, nearly 25% decrease from 2020-2021. We now have 91.2% trained teachers at secondary level, up from 79.04% in 2020-2021. Our pupil teacher ratio in secondary level has improved to 11 from 14 in 2020-2021 indicating uh, smaller classes sizes and better student teacher interaction initiatives like building as learning aid in 1118 government upper primary schools and the establishment of 12 ecolabia model residential schools have ensured every child has access to modern educational facilities we will invest in vocational and technical training and centers to equip our youth with industry relevant skills enhancing their employability we will vigorously promote STEM education by providing necessary resources, modern laboratories, and experienced teachers. Having achieved access and equity in school education, our emphasis will now be on quality of learning. We have decided, uh, we have identified learning outcome for various classes and our highest priority will be to ensure that children achieve as appropriate learning outcomes. Our highest priority will be uh, to reduce school drops out at all levels. <coughs> we will launch the 100 days reading campaign and school read, uh, readiness uh, program to focus on developing fluency among students, laying a strong foundation for their academic journey. Initiatives also, uh, such as uh, school safety skills summer campus under prime minister uh, pm3 and state level science exhibition will be held to underscore our commitment to a holistic educational experience <coughs> curriculum reform is another cornerstone for our commitment to education we will roll out competency-based syllabi and <coughs> robust learning recovery programs to ensure every student achieves their full potential. Under the backless uh, Saturday initiatives for classes one to five, we will, uh, we will be conducting regular extracurricular activities, including workshops on critical thinking, decision-making, folk songs, and dance competition, etc. We have already disbursed rupees 228.7 crore as stipend to APSC students and rupees 188.5 crore to students of class 9 to 12 to ensure financial constraint <coughs> do not hinder their educational aspiration. We shall increase funding to for scholarship and grant, ensuring higher education is accessible to all, especially those from underprivileged background. We will commence by organizing education conclave at 
both state and district level under the banner of Shiksha Chintan Sivir before 15 August, <coughs> both at district and state level. These gatherings will serve as platform for dialogue, enabling, uh, enabling us to develop district-wise plans based on the latest educational data. We shall in initiate a comprehensive training program for teachers, leveraging a new dual keys and monitoring mechanism to uphold standards and support students' success to ensure improved performance in the board examination. We will implement integrated inventory assessment and management system for all government schools in the state in this financial year. And learning from this experience, <coughs> we will extend the inventory management system to all public infrastructure such as hospitals, anganwadis, kendras, etc. <coughs> we have started construction of 30 government higher secondary and uh, government senior secondary schools in the previous year with an allocation of rupees 150 crore. This year we have earmarked another um, uh, rupees 100 uh, earmarked uh, rupees 150 crore for exp expediting construction of such schools. We have set up 71, 71 dedicated Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalaya which has benefited 12,000 girls children promoting gender equality in education and empowering our future leaders. We shall continue to support Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalaya. This year we shall uh, invest an additional rupees 600 crore through the Samankara Siksha for various educational intervention with specific attention given to PM Sri schools and Golden Jubilee School. We are grateful to the Government of India for sanctioning rupees 500 crore for the upgradation of 50 senior secondary and uh, senior uh, secondary and secondary schools into Golden Jubilee schools. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji himself had laid the uh, foundation stones for these uh, schools during his visit on 9th March 2024. We shall add another 10 more schools to this project. <coughs> that will become total 60 in all 60 constituencies. Last year we have allocated 200 crore in for this. This year I am pleased to announce the allocation of rupees 150 crore. Remaining amount shall be made available based on progress of construction. Through the usage of virtual reality devices, our students can interact with a three-dimensional uh, immersive environment enabling them to grasp concept for better understanding of theories, etc. Till that, we have regularized over 900 contractual teachers and ensured up to 22% salary increment for teaching and non-teaching staff to enhance moral and professional and moral and professionalism in our education system. This year we shall aim to fill up all teaching and non-teaching vacancies in school, government schools and colleges with qualified and well-trained teachers including regularization of SSA teachers. We shall post optimal number of teachers in every school to ensure quality education and improve learning outcomes of students. We have appointed 777 subject teachers under the Mukhya Mantri Shiksha course for ability of subject specific qualified teachers in schools as, <coughs> as a stopgap arrangement to ensure that interests of students are not affected. This year we will appoint 200 more teachers under the Mukhya Mantri Shiksha course. For the long term, <coughs> we have also initiated process for recruitment of 600 posts of teachers through the Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission. It is our firm belief that quality teachers lay the foundation of quality learning. We shall strengthen the State Institute of Teachers Training and District Institute of Education and Training to infuse quality and excellence in our teachers and teaching. I am also pleased to announce the establishment of Center of Excellence in Teacher Training at Dirang and Rowing. <coughs> we are cumulatively investing Rs. 322 crore in the construction of hostels and teachers' quarters in all districts. This year we shall invest <coughs> Rs. 100 crore for the construction of teachers' quarters in schools. 
We shall also facilitate construction of 60 bachelor barracks in rural schools. <coughs> we shall further integrate indigenous history into our curriculum, celebrating our cultural diversity and heritage. We shall also partner with CBOs to, the, to further promote education in local languages. Additionally, we shall provide grants in aid for the Golden Jubilee Convention Hall at RK Mission, Norutam Nagar. <coughs> We shall continue to provide grants in aid for Arunachal Pradesh University Pasighat and RKM School Lumdung for the completion of the construction in phase two. Under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Pema Khandruji, the first Chinese school of the state in East Siang as well as Chinese school in Tawang in PPP mode have already started classes. I propose allocation of rupees 50 crore for infrastructure development of the Chinese school in East Siang. <coughs> in response to the growing demands for postgraduate education, <coughs> I, uh, I am proud to announce that the Arunachal Pradesh State University has commenced classes from the academic year 2023-24. We also propose the construction of a dedicated auditorium and residential quarters for the teaching staff of the Arunachal University. With support from the Government of India, we shall undertake the infrastructural development of Arunachal Pradesh State University at Pasighat and go five government colleges across the state to provide our students with a conducive environment for higher learning and innovation. <coughs> We shall undertake construction of two-lane approach and internal road at the Government Engineering College Teju, Teju. Additionally, we are pleased to announce the commencement of the infrastructure development at Government College Doimuk. <coughs> we shall also undertake the construction of new academic block at Government College Sepa the, and Jomintang Government College Model, uh, Government Model College Rowing. To sustain our critical <coughs> To sustain our critical ongoing infrastructure development initiative, we shall advance the project of two engineering colleges, two government model degree colleges, and Biniyanga government women college. Additionally, we shall expedite the construction of a girls' hostel at IGG College, including the provision of an approach road and external water supply at government model <coughs> school Taporizo. To build a strong human capital, the role of public libraries is unmatched. We shall set up new age learning centers in all districts. Arunachal Pradesh aspires to become the hub of education of the Northeast, as well as for students from the rest of the country. Therefore, I am announcing a task force for the setting up of an educational city of national standards spread over an area of over 5,200 acres, where institutes of national repute <coughs> will be an, uh, encouraged to set up campuses for a secondary and high secondary school. I am pleased to announce that our government is formulating an effective policy to enable top educational institution to set up campuses in Arunachal Pradesh with support from the state government and to encourage the participation of CBOs and other civil society organizations in the field of education. We aim to transform our educational landscape through significant modernization and innovation. To achieve this ambitious goal, I propose to cumulatively earmark Rs. 2,139 crore for the Arun Sri mission. This investment will facilitate not only the physical enhancement of school infrastructure, but also foster public-private partnership that will drive innovative in teaching methods and collaborative educational efforts. <coughs> Arunachal Pradesh with its breathtaking landscape is a treasure trove of natural beauty and diverse ecosystem. We want the growth of high and niche tourism and the state uh, keeping in mind the ecological carrying capacity of the high tourism potential location. We are confident that Arunachal Pradesh has the potential to become the tourism and adventure tourism capital of the Northeast. Therefore, our government will notify a new tourism policy, including film, farm, wine, tea, and ecotourism, as well as 
homestay policy to provide holistic experiences for domestic and foreign tourists, attractive, attract investment and create employment and self-employment opportunities for youth. This policy will focus on preserving local culture, heritage through community involvement and showcasing local champions. We recognize that the block backbone of thriving tourism industry in robust, is robust infrastructure. To this end, we are making a, and will continue to make substantial investment in enhancing our transportation network, including upgrading of roads, expansion of airport facilities, and modernization of our railway system. Additionally, we aim to foster the growth of accommodation facilities from affordable budget options to luxurious hotels by supporting the private sector and actively support the development of local homestays. This initiative will not only boost tourism capacities but also create employment opportunities and stimulate economic growth. To diversify our tourism offerings and attack a broader audience, we shall develop state-of-the-art infrastructure of adventure sports including trekking, rafting, angling, paragliding and rock climbing, catering to thrill seekers and nature enthusiasts. Cinematic tourism is an excellent way for destination marketing and create opportunities for center, uh, for entrepreneurship and promote our natural products as a preferred tourist destination among the Indian and global audience and filmmakers. To make our natural products a film-friendly state, create more employment opportunities through film industry, promote, develop an ecosystem for film in production, and to stimulate the tourism economy through cinematic tourism. Therefore, we shall notify an attractive and innovative film tourism policy. By leveraging our expertise in healthcare and traditional wellness practices, we, we can attract a global clientele seeking quality medical care and rejuvenation and become the healing and wellness hub of the Northeast. Therefore, I'm pleased to announce that we shall be notifying a healing and wellness tourism policy this year. We shall develop hill stations with high quality curated experience zones, increasing tourist footfall, etc. And we'll promote tourism in border areas of the state by simplifying guidelines and procedure. Setting up of tourism facilities, war memorials, museums, etc. We are also confident about the potential tourism has for reforming state economy and creating employment and self-employment opportunities for our youth. Under the CM Pariyatan Vikas Yojana 741, individuals have received subsidies for tourism-related entrepreneurship. 226 youth have received training in adventure sports, boosting their skills and employability. We shall continue the CM Pariyatan Vikas Yojana and Pariyatan Siksha Yojana. To ensure the highest standard of our tourism and hospitality sector, we shall certify and train local guides, equip, equipping them with the knowledge and the skilling uh, needed to provide, in an, uh, provide engaging and informative experience for our visitors. <coughs> we shall also conduct homestay owners con convention to deliberate on best practices promote tourism, etc. To further attract tourism, to, uh, tourists, six modern caravans have been introduced. These caravans offer a unique and comfortable way to explore the natural beauty of our state, enhancing overall uh, tourist experience. We shall enter into partnership with hospitality aggregators of national and global repute to develop and market our pristine locations as tourism hub while maintaining a balance between our ecological caring capacity and our indigenous culture and tradition. To enhance our state district cultural to, to enhance our state's district distinct cultural and historical identity, we shall launch a comprehensive promotion and marketing campaign for our unique and irreparable landmark. This includes historic Steelwell Road the Chakcham Bridge, Ancient Iron Bridge, etc. Far-flung villages <coughs> can be made attractive as destination for tourists by subtle integration of strengths like local food, local healing practices, 
herbal medicine, etc. Bird tourism of Eagle Nest is one such successful example. To replicate such good practices, I propose an allocation of rupees 50 lakh to identify some potential niche <coughs> niches this year on pilot basis. Ganga Lake near Itanagar, which is locally known as Gekar Sining, offers a beautiful landscape. Combining this with traditional dwelling of various communities can become a significant tourist attraction. By displaying these traditional huts with daily life att uh, attracts, we can highlight <coughs> the sustainable lifestyle of our indigenous communities. This initiative will enhance the ecotourism potential of Itanagar and address the need of, for more tourism attraction in the area building, area. building on our previous works in creating a demonstrative unit, I propose an allocation of dedicated funds this year to create five more units. This funding will be used to develop a blend of nature and culture, showcasing the sustainable practices of our indigenous communities and promoting ecotourism. <coughs> our vision is to elevate the dying airing wildlife sanctuary into a premier wildlife tourism spot. As part of the, this endeavor, we shall reintroduce rhinoceros to enrich its biodiversity. This will help to conserve the endangered species while creating sustainable economic prospects for local communities. To boost tourism and local economies the create, to create employ and create employment opportunities in the local community, I propose the creation and promotion of iconic tracks and trails in each district, such as Seven Lakes Trail, Bailey Trail, etc. This initiative will highlight our state's natural beauty, attract adventure enthusiasts from all over the country. <coughs> we also propose to conduct various outreach events throughout the country for the promotion of uh, tourism in Arunachal Pradesh. <coughs> we shall also endeavor to organize prestigious Femina Miss India Grand Finale in our state. <coughs> Towards the tourism sector, I propose to earmark Rs. 150 crore in this, year's fin in this financial year. Honorable Speaker, sir, the one district, one product is an imp uh, important initiative to boost our economic infrastructure. We aim to set up cl uh, clusters in all 28 districts in the next five years. In a novel initiative, I'm proposing the establishment of mini food park in central and western Arunachal Pradesh to promote development of MSMEs in the food processing sectors. We have resolved to inspire farmers to enhance historical horticultural production and promotion of fruits, fruit cooperative and to promote food processing activities. Through this August House, I issue a direct appeal to farmers to cultivate pineapple for both domestic and international markets and to establish cooperative for the sales and export these products. We shall extend support to farmers by conducting workshop capacity building session and promotional event. We shall also extend support to farmers for the cultivation of oranges, persimmon, walnut, and large cardamom and other crops. We are committed to the revival of state PSUs as growth engine of the future and the major source, uh, sources of employment of our youth. Therefore, I am announcing the establishment of a task force for the examining the possibility of further intervention, partnership, infusion of technology, including good manufacturing practices and enhanced market access for existing state PSUs. Rubber can be a major growth engine for our state. We shall support the establishment of smokehouse for small and marginal rubber growers. These smokehouses will improve <coughs> processing and quality of rubber, offer necessary logistic equipment and material for rubber growers, thereby increasing the uh, profitability and sustainability of rubber cultivation. With the advent of uh, our Arunachal our, uh, our uh, Innovation and Investment Park, we have got back-to-back -back accolades from the government of India, the <coughs> latest being the top performer in the state's startup ranking 2022. <coughs> <coughs> 
to foster growth of startups the arunachal pradesh innovation and investment park includes state of the art co <coughs> working spaces we shall continue to enhance these facilities to support startup providing them with spaces equipped with excellent amenities our startups are making uh, making real impact on the ground and also bringing in revenues we are selecting up to 50 startups every year to provide them funding and incubation support we will <coughs> set up incubation cells in higher educational institute to nurture innovative business ideas of young entrepreneurs we also aim to set up an investment promotion agency to further facilitate investment in the state the state flagship din dayal upaitya swalaman yojana has been instrumental in supporting entrepreneurial ventures of our youth till date we have facilitated 1015 youth and women to obtain funding to the tune of rupees 388 crore for their ventures continuing with this efforts this year we aim to support 1000 entrepreneur for which i am proposing an allocation of rupees 100 crore we will also support youth in setting up sports ventures under this scheme for the comprehensive development of our handloom and handicraft sector including hasari culture we shall take up construction and upgradation of state handloom and handicraft emporium in various districts we shall also establish one stop shop at arunachal bhavan and house in delhi in new delhi to promote our indigenous products to the rest of the country and the world we shall encourage sericulture and production of aryan muga <coughs> silk in state by continuing support for sericulture and gap filling uh, in agriculture and muga culture to increase cocoon yield and generate livelihood with special focus on women sericulturists <coughs> Our state is rich with mineral resources, including potential reserve of major, minor, and rare art element. However, our mining and uh, exploration requires further impetus. <coughs> In our continued efforts to harness the natural resources of our state, we have guaranteed 13 oil exploration licenses. We shall work closely with the government of India for the exploration and uh, extraction of minerals, hydrocarbon, graphite. and vanadium reserves <coughs> in total this initiative represents a substantial investment of rupees 105 crore towards boosting industry led development in arunachal pradesh for industry oriented skill of our youth we have established six new industrial training institute and 10 state of the art pradhan mantri kaushal kendras training over 30 34000 youth we have also trained 689 youth through the cm yuva kaushal yojana and 92 apprenticeship apprentice uh, apprentice says under the national apprenticeship promotion center scheme this initiative underscore our commitment to empowering our youth <coughs> with cutting edge skills for prosperous future this year i am pleased to propose allocation of rupees 1 crore is for multimedia and information technology skill lab in itanagar at the software technology park of india campus and information technology skill lab at pasighat in collaboration with the national institute of electronics and information technology cumulatively i propose an allocation of rupees 23 crore for skill upgradation and enhancing employability of our youth aligning with the vision of our prime minister sri narendra modi ji for a new india where women are strong empowered and equal partnership in countries development arunachal pradesh proudly stands at the forefront of empowering women through transformative initiative in this direction we have mobilized skilled and trained over 110000 women into 13 13000 plus self help group in the state which has resulted in more than 3400 self help group in securing almost rupees 75 crore as bank credit our efforts have yielded significant outcomes in part impacting over 
8 lakh pregnant women lactating mothers and children through our network of 6,225 Anganwadi centers. We are committed to the wholehearted implementation of Saksam Anganwadi and Poshan <coughs> 2.0, ensuring nutritional well-being and adolescent girls, pregnant women, lactating mothers and children. Recognizing the invaluable contribution of Anganwadi workers and helpers to improving outcomes in health and nutrition, we have already increased their monthly honorarium. In the novel initiative, we shall construct 200 pink toilets in all this district, mar <coughs> marking a significant step toward improving sanitation facilities for women. I propose to earmark rupees 372 crore for a project covering various activities related to women and child development. Investment in health sector is crucial to build a big city health or natural. We want to build a high quality and affordable health care system for all citizens. As emphasized by our Honorable Prime Minister, health care has to be a good quality and it must be affordable. I am pleased to assure, pleased to share that significant health care reforms in Arunachal Pradesh have resulted in improved health indicators. With our government's dedicated efforts over the past three years, the percentage of fully immunized children in our state has increased by 11.41%. Previously, this rate was uh, a cause of concern at 68%. But we have now achieved a significant improvement, reaching 79.41%. <coughs> our goal remains to achieve 100% immunization in the next five years. And we are committed to continuing our efforts to ensure the health and well-being of our children. We shall continue supporting families through, district, uh, through direct benefit transfer in timely completion of uh, vaccinations. This is third, uh, in this third term, our government's target shall be to build a robust and in, uh, inclusive health system, promoting and well-being and happiness of its citizens and po positioning itself as a model for healthcare development in the region. We intend to augment entire <coughs> state's health infrastructure to bring it at par with the rest of the country by end of our tenure. We have provided cashless uh, health insurance coverage of rupees 5 lakh to our rupees 7 lakh people uh, in Arunachal uh, <coughs> Pradesh. We shall continue this uh, crucial initiative. We are also aware of the immense responsibility placed on us by enhancing the access and quality of healthcare services to our citizens, as well as to the need uh, and the need to move towards universal healthcare access in a phased manner. Therefore, I am announcing the launch of the Arugya Bhava Initiative with five assured provisions for all our citizens. Provision of CMMAY and PMJAY cars to all eligible beneficiaries. Increasing scope and coverage of free diagnostic schemes, ensuring 20 into 7 ability of free ambulance services for medical emergencies, including at least one ALS ambulance in its basin, <coughs> followed by its districts. Free essential life-saving drugs to patients, <coughs> Universal screening of those above 35 years for lifestyle diseases. We shall continue providing grants in aid to TRIMS along with the providing free chemotherapy at TRIMS. I'm happy to continue supporting the Renal Care Center of Excellence set up at TRIMS in collaboration with the Sargangaram Hospital. New Delhi, New Delhi. We shall uh, also support renal care services. We shall continue our efforts to upgrade Bakken Partin General Hospital in Pasigat to a 300 bed capacity with an outlay of 100 crore. Cancer has become one of the top five heading, uh, leading causes of death in our natural Pradesh. The Government of India has sanctioned funding of rupees 217 crore for establishment of a state cancer institute at Midpu Itanagar. <coughs> This will be a state-of-the-art comprehensive cancer institute treatment center with all the advanced and modern facilities under one roof. We aim to begin construction of state cancer institute at Midpur this year. 
We are committed to enhancing healthcare infrastructure by setting up CT scan facilities at the General Hospital in Teju, MRI facilities at General Hospital in Pasigat, and the mortuaries at District and General Hospital in Bakin Patin, uh, Government Hospital, Pasigat, uh, Daporijo, Teju, Tawang, and Sidomi. Additionally, <coughs> we shall augment the operation and maintenance of 45 ICUs. 29 PICUs and 40 HDUs and 100 oxygen supported beds across the state. We shall strengthen the of district hospital, uh, district and general hospital under the Chief Minister's Healthcare Emer Health Emergency Life Protection Services by, establish, uh, by establishing CM Health, Health Skills Lab at district and general hospital in Alo, Teju, and Konsa. The Mukhamanti Rogi Kalyan course and Mukhamanti Manasik uh, Swasta Yojana have significantly contributed to the well being of our people. We are committed to continuing support for this valuable initiative. Owing to the difficulties of our terrain, low population and low population density, we had initiated the revolutionary medicine from the sky initiative. We shall expand coverage of villages under the medicine from sky initiative. We shall also continue our support for Japanese language learning for nurses and training in of uh, in service uh, health professional and for from both allopathy and IOS, nurses and paramedics. We shall continue offering additional incentive to ASA workers supplementing the NSM initiative. In the past eight years, we have established 28 Jan Aushadi Kendras. We shall establish more such Kendras in the state to ensure ability of uh, essential medicines and affordable prices to all our citizens. Given the large number of uh, people available, uh, uh, availing treatment under the CMAAY and at CMC Velour, we intend to establish an Arunachal Pradesh state patient's home in Velour. One of the key problems the state is facing is the prevalence of drug abuse and HIV infections. Our CBOs have raised concern on these issues reported repeatedly. I ask honorable members to sensitize people regarding these challenges and encourage people to inculcate healthy habits and active lifestyle. Together, we should aim to fight against the drugs menace in our state. We are taking a multifaceted approach to end the menace of drug addiction. We have established five state-of-the-art drug de-addiction center and constituted the Arunachal Pradesh Drug De-Addiction Society under the Mukhyamanti Nasa Mukti Yojana. We shall continue to establish de-addiction and rehabilitation centers in collaboration with the NGOs to enhance access. We have established addiction treatment <coughs> facility in government hospital uh, across districts. In 2023-24 itself, we have treated 1,050 cases in government and government-funded NGO drug de-addiction centers across nine districts. We shall continue with these critical activities under Mukha Mantri Nasa Mukti Yojana. I propose to allocate rupees 709 crore to the Department of Health and Family Welfare this year. Our glorious indigenous heritage and culture fills us with pride. We are, in, uh, we are India's largest repository of indigenous languages, culture, and tradition. Our commitment to the preservation, protection, and promotion of our indigenous legacy in un is unparalleled. This, uh, to this end, we have strengthened the Department of Indigenous Affairs and have been significantly increasing its budget allocation. <coughs> our society has been a beacon in our endeavor of preserving and promoting our indigenous uh, tradition. In this, I'm uh, pleased to announce an allocation of 10 crore for the construction of Idu Misimi Cultural Heritage Center at Rowing. As part of our Azadika Amrit Mahutsav celebration, we showcased the play Ninu 80, which depicted the Ninu massacre and paid homage to the Wanchu warriors. To honor their legacy, I propose to allocate rupees 5, five crore for, the, uh, for, for uh, this financial year. We have established six indigenous gurukuls for Adi, Galo, Nishi, and Tangsa tribes. Seeking their popularity and success, this year I propose four new gurukul model schools for the Apatani, Misimi, Nokte, and Tangsa tribes. 
The soul of Arunachal Pradesh resides in, in its indigenous faith, which is a source of pride and legacy that we wish to live for our youth and future generation. Therefore, we shall construct indigenous prayer center in the remaining uncovered district. We are proud of our indigenous handicraft and products which form our collective heritage. It is our endeavor to preserve, promote, and protect this living tradition. Therefore, having worked closely with our artisans and weavers and obtained geographical indication text for 20 indigenous products, we shall endeavor to get GI text for more products. We shall also host the GI festival aiming to popularize our GI tech products and further foster pride in our heritage. <coughs> We are constructing Ekta Mall in Itanagar to promote one district, one product to showcase our GI and other indigenous products. I express our deepest gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for laying the foundation stone of this Ekta Mall, being constructed with an outlay of rupees 188 crore. <coughs> We are also uh, we are in advanced stage of creating an e-portal dedicated to the indigenous folklore and folk music, aim at celebrating the rich heritage and cultural diversity of tribals in our national Pradesh. This will also develop in <coughs> collaboration with the indigenous communities. We shall launch the e-indigenous portal this year. <coughs> in our steadfast communities, commitment to the upliftment and well-being of marginalized communities. We shall strengthen the welfare board for the poor community by bolstering the board's resources and capabilities. Therefore, I propose to double the grant in aid to the board. To, uh, to celebrate and preserve our rich cultural heritage and to promote traditional travel uh, across the Arunachal Pradesh, we shall continue to conduct the state folk music and dance festival. <coughs> further promote and save our art, further to, to further promote and save our art and culture for posterity, we shall expedite construction of the Narottam Heritage and Cultural Center at Bordoria. I propose allocation of 61 crores to us indigenous affairs for this year. <coughs> we shall upgrade the Jawaharlal Nehru State Museum at Itanagar into state-of-the-art museum with the assistance of expert Museologists. We shall implement a, uh, we shall implement a com comprehensive site management plan for the Tembang fortified village, which has already been proposed for the inclusion in the UNESCO list of heritage sites. We are committed to ensure that through exp expert supervision, this novel objective is achieved. In commemoration of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, we have been hosting the Arunachal Rang Mahotsav and shall continue this event showcasing theatrical performance uh, nationwide. <coughs> I'm happy to announce that we will expedite the construction of 13 state memorial uh, at various locations in the state to commemorate the participation of our unsung heroes in India's struggle against colonial rule. We shall also expedite construction of the 1962 War Memorial and Park at Neelam Village in Key Pioneer District to honor the bravery and courage by our soldiers and uh, supreme sacrifice made by them. I propose to earmark rupees 26 crore towards the arts and culture this year. <coughs> it is indeed a testament to our commitment to the first uh, file signed by our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Pema Khandruji on assuming the uh, charge of uh, Chief Minister for the third time was to allocate a sum of rupees 100 crore under the Chief Minister Social Security Scheme. We shall continue to support conduct of events by Paralympic Association Arunachal Pradesh. We are predominantly tribal state under the Prime Minister Jan Vikas Karyakram and grants under Article 275 within bracket one of the constitution, we will invest rupees 350 crore this year for the development of public infrastructure and the holistic well-being of the tribal people of our state. Apart from this, I am proposing an allocation of rupees 112 crore this year for the Department of Social Justice and Empowerment and Tribal Affairs. Our goals in the field of agriculture include increasing areas under cultivation, enhancing productivity, improving remuneration for farmers, and bo <coughs> boosting exports. 
We shall also take up promotion and export of organic and natural products grown in the state. We shall also set up a task force to assist exporters in improving supply chain market accessibility and handholding for increasing exports. To strengthen Atma Nirbhar <coughs> Nirbharta and provide self-employment opportunities, we have enhanced front-end subsidies under the five verticals, Krishi, Bhagwani, Pasupalan, Machapalan, and Plantation Schemes. The Krishi Yojana has benefited 1,945 farmers and 336 self-help groups, and Machapalan Yojana has supported 1,099 beneficiaries, and Plantation Yojana has assisted 1,665 beneficiaries. The Wagbani Yojana has reached 5,800 farmers and self-help groups, and the Pasupalan Yojana has benefited about 1,100 beneficiaries. Looking at the success of last year, we are continuing with this scheme with a proposed allocation of rupees 161 crore this year. A remarkable strides have been made in agriculture through these schemes. With 50% of these schemes earmarked for self-help groups. Since their inception, 400 crores has been allocated for the Atma Nebula Arunachal. Training uh, our uh, farmers and equipping them with the rich knowledge, technology and skills is crucial for ensuring improved <coughs> crops, livestock, uh, livestock production, livelihood generation, entrepreneurship, economic growth, and environmental sustainability. I'm announcing the launch of Catch Them Young program to plug gaps in training needs of the young farmers of the state and attract more young towards agriculture. The total area under the oil palm in the state of Arunachal Pradesh is 4,600 hectares up to 2023-24. One crude oil palm factory at Rowing is presently functional. It is a matter of immense pleasure for us that the inauguration of the oil palm factory was carried out by our visionary Prime Minister Narendra Mojiji. We shall also earmark funds to continue with our ongoing projects infrastructure development of the State Horticulture Research and Development Institute. We have significantly strengthened our animal husbandry and veterinary infrastructure with establishment of 122 cattle upgrading centers, alongside 24, 25 ambulances and 5 refrigerated vans for improved animal health care. We have also upgraded 12 veterinary hospitals, 193 dispensaries and 127 aid centers. We are dedicated to enhance the livestock sector in Arunachal Pradesh. To this goal, we have distributed cattle to over 750 farmers under the Chief Minister's Wide Revolution Schemes and provide benefits to 4,800 citizens under Arun Peak Development Scheme. Arunachal Pradesh holds tremendous potential for the wild organic honey production. Our government will support production of apiculture in the packaging, processing, and branding Arunachal honey, ensuring that the high-quality product reaches bro uh, broader markets. It gives me immense pleasure to inform you that India's first integrated aqua park and aqua museum located in the Tarin area of the Jiro Valley in Lower Subansi District will be inaugurated this year. We shall uh, <coughs> extensively use uh, technology to ensure better knowledge of the market prices of the various agro products for the benefit of farmers. For the agriculture and allied sector, I am proposing an allocation of rupees 621 crore this year. <laughs> Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, we have issued 3.38 lakh job cards under Manrega providing guaranteed work to willing individuals. We have been providing close to 4,800 metric tons of rice grains per month at the rate of uh, 5 kg per person to vulnerable individuals under the Pradhan Mantri uh, Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana. We shall continue offering this support to the needy. We have successfully integrated a significant percentage of fair price swap into an online trans transaction system for the public distribution system, enhancing efficiency and transparency in food distribution. For the development of our rural areas, I propose to earmark rupees 830 crore this year. One of our most ambitious state-funded initiative, the Chief Minister's Comprehensive State Road Development Plan, was launched during 2019 for a period of five years with an outlay of rupees 4,000 crore to build and upgrade roads, bridges, and other infrastructure. We now propose to launch 
the phase two of this uh, achievements are comprehensive state road development <coughs> program for a period of uh, five years from 2024 to, to, to 2029 with a cumulative outlay, outlay of rupees 3040 crore. With our previous development gaps, our government had put emphasis to creating physical and administrative infrastructure, especially in new districts. To continue with the impetus uh, to facilitate district administration for the better public survey, we earmark fund for construction of central divisional headquarters at Basar, district headquarters of uh, Bichom, uh, Key Pioneer, and Leparada, and ADC headquarters at Kamba, Yamcha, and Tali. We shall complete works on the new Arunachal Bhavan at Delhi and Common uh, Directorate Complex at Itanagar. <coughs> we aim to replace all old dilapidated government infrastructure in the state existing right from NEFA days. <coughs> For all these works, I propose to Irma Krubes 1,827 crore to be placed under PWD. Under the PMGSY, three beds, one, 6,054.52 kilometer of rural roads and 36 long suspension bridges will be upgraded with an investment of rupees 665 crore. In addition to, in addition, I propose to allocate rupees 80 crore for the maintenance of PMGSY road. We have provided functional household tape connection to 2,230,271 household marking trans transformative steps towards fulfilling the basic human needs, ensuring access to clean water and sanitation and becoming the first state in the Northeast to achieve 100% saturation under Jal Jivan Mission. We shall take up augmentation of water supply in all the four towns uh, of Basar, Teju, Namsai, Bomdila initially for uh, for which a total outlay of 214 crore is earmarked. We shall also extend water supply to the remaining uncovered schools, anganwadis, and healthcare <coughs> center. Working closely with the government of India, we have increased the national highway network in the state by nearly 1,600 kilometers. We have also opened the strategy, strategically important Sela and Nechupu tunnels for public uses. I also I express our sincere gratitude to the government of India for sanctioning uh, sanctioning the 1,748 kilometer Arunachal Frontier Highway with an outlay of rupees 26,370 crore and rupees 1,130 kilometer interconnectivity highway with an outlay of rupees 17,614 crore. Apart from airport at Itanagar and Teju, we now have eight advanced landing grounds in the state. Within the next five years, we aim to construct two airports at Dirang and Anini. We aim to transform the Itanagar Nahalongan twin capital city region into a vibrant hub economic activity, leisure and rapid economic growth. To achieve this, we will prepare a plan for the establishment of the state-of-the-art Aero City in and around Hulungi Airport. We are grateful that government <coughs> of India launching the vibrant village program from Arunachal Pradesh in 2023 for enabling, enabling paradigm shifting development journey of our state villages, of our first villages. Under the program, we are taking up construction of 105 roads covering 1,022 kilometers and connecting 124 habitation and 186 other developmental activities for 156 villages with a cumulative of rupees 2,310 crore. We shall work closely with the government of India for exploring the feasibility of development of inland waterways in the state. To fulfill the uh, twin goals of improving public transport facilities, providing self-employment opportunity to our youth, I'm pleased to announce the launch of an innovative scheme under which we shall provide front-ended subsidy to APST youth for the purchase of buses for intra-city intra operation in the in, uh, Itanagar Nahalogan twin capital city region and connecting district headquarters to Itanagar. I am proposing an allocation of rupees 44 crore for upgradation of transport infrastructure and services. 
The Swachh Bharat Mission has been immensely successful in our state with the construction of almost 1.5 lakh toilets in both rural and urban areas. We have also set up the first sewage treatment plant in Itana. Tracking, taking the step further, I propose to keep aside a sum of rupees 200 crore for establishment of solid and liquid waste management plant in various towns. We shall also continue support for waste management in 44 towns, including payment of wages, etc. In the past few years, under the flagship Pradhan Mantri Ojala Yojana and Ojala uh, Yojana and Ojala 2.0, we have provided more than 50,000 new LPG connection to household. Now, to boost this ease of living and quality of life, citizen <coughs> quality of life of citizen, the time has come for us to provide pipe gas connection to household and further enhance easy access to clean cooking fuel. In this field, we shall work closely with the government of India for implementation of the Northeast Gas Grid to cover all households in Itanagar Nahalogan Twin Capital City in the first phase. We have recently completed construction of India's first 3D printed classroom. The first such uh, project at Itanagar has been immensely successful, drastically reducing the construction time. We shall further explore the use of this technology for construction of a public and community infrastructure. To provide housing facilities for government servants, we will construct around 150 multi-story flat in our uh, Itanagar to replace the old and dilapidated government quarter with, with uh, with an estimated outlay of rupees 80 crore. An allocation of rupees 10 crore is proposed for this year. We shall also construct similar accommodation in district headquarters in the phase manner. To our urban local bodies, uh, our urban local bodies have historically faced challenges in governance, project planning, and policy development due to the lack of uh, comprehensive geo database for the urban centers. I am pleased to announce that we have completed geo spatial database in GIS format for 21 <coughs> towns. We shall extend the initiative. I propose to earmark Rs. 291 crore for urban development and housing this year. Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, with 100% electrification in the state, we have significantly improved the quality of life of our citizens. We are now working on ensuring 24 into 7 uninterrupted power supply for all households in a phased manner. The revamp distribution sector uh, schemes has introduced several key projects aimed at overhauling our state's own uh, power distribution infrastructure. We are carrying out loss reduction works with investment of rupees 799.99 crore. We aim to complete these works by 31st March 2026. We are grateful to the Government of India and Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for inaugurating the smart metering works with a sanctioned amount of Rs. 182.53 crore, aiming to re-revolutionize our power consumption tracking and significantly reduce AT&C losses. This is also expected to be completed by March 2026. The extension of electricity distribution infrastructure project has been taken up under the Vibrant Village Program. This project focuses on extending our distribution infrastructure to the remotest areas. Till that, we have received appro uh, approval for 68 villages covering 1,683 uh, 1, households. We shall work closely with the government of India for the provision of on-grid connection in remaining 915 households in 99 villages. We are also implementing the downstream capacity connectivity to the upcoming substation in comprehensive schemes. Under this, many substations have been completed and remaining are targeted for completion by March 2025. I thank the Government of India for the launch of PM Surya Ghar Muf Bijli Yojana. This initiative aims to providing free electricity to one crore household in India by providing significant subsidies <coughs> for installing rooftop solar unit. We shall endeavor to cover all eligible households in the state under this scheme. To upgrade our power sector infrastructure, I am pleased to propose an allocation of rupees 337 crore this year from our state fund. Arunachal Pradesh boost, boasts a remarkable hydropower potential of 58,000 megawatt, representing about 40% of the India's total potential. 
the substantial growth of installed hydropower capacity is essential for our economic growth and future capacity, as well as help achieve India's net zero target. Our installed hydropower capacity has surged remarkably by 213 percent from 405 <coughs> megawatt in 2015-16 to 1270 megawatt by 2023. 22-23. This rapid expansion has positioned Arunachal Pradesh as second power supply state in the Northeast region. Major projects such as Panyar, Lower, Pare, and Kameng Hydro projects have been commissioned, collectively contributing 1,183 crore worth of free power to the state over the past seven years. <coughs> the 600 megawatt coming hydro proje uh, projects now provides 123 crore watt free power annually to Arunachal Pradesh. The construction of 2000 megawatt <coughs> lower Suvansri hydroelectric project, presently India's largest, is now 90% complete. But the 2,280 megawatt Divang multipurpose project, which our Prime Minister <coughs> had recently performed the groundbreaking ceremony for. <coughs> will be largest in the country thereafter. I'm pleased to report that after the prolonged period of five years, the Lower Dimbe hydroelectric project has received clearance from the National Company of Low Tribunal. This crucial milestone paves the way for us to commence the construction. We also uh, have signed agreement with our CPSUs <coughs> to revive 13 stalled mega hydro projects, totaling 12,723 megawatt in the capacity, in capacity, with substantial investment of nearly rupees 1.4 lakh crore. This initiative is expected to generate an annual in revenue of 10,000 crore, which includes 3,500 crore worth of free power annually to the state, along with a local area development fund of rupees 250 crore annually. On completion of all these projects, Arunachal Pradesh will have the highest per capita income in the country. We have completed phase, uh, completed phase one of the Border Villages Illumination Project, where we installed 17 new mini hydro projects covering 66 villages. We have also taken up six more projects in phase two with an estimated cost of rupees 50 crore. For the hydropower sector, I propose to allocate a sum of rupees 84 crore this year. Our state is blessed with unique advantages in the terms of nature and biodiversity. Given that large tracts of our state are covered with forests, it is essential to ch uh, channel forest dependency uh, to sustainable, into sustainable and eco-friendly activities. Our Pake Tiger Reserve Forest 20, uh, Pake, our Pake Tiger Reserve 2047 Declaration on Climate Change Resilience and Rest. The uh, responsive Arunachal Pradesh has been the first of its kind in any state government <coughs> in India. We shall provide dedicated fund for the st uh, strengthening the environment, being of effective implementation of strategies under Paket Declaration. As part of the latest SDG scoreboard, our share of renewable energy to the total energy stands at 89.15%. This is an achievement we all should be proud of. We must strive harder to reach the goal of 100% renewable energy in the shortest possible time. Our steadfast commitment to environmental, our steadfast commitment to the environmental sustainability, we have successfully carried out compensatory afforestation across the vast expanse of 26,440 hectares. Under the uh, Green India mission, we have also achieved forest plantation over 2,822 hectares. Furthermore, we have diligently worked to restore 2,189 hectares of degraded open <coughs> forest, underscoring our dedication to preserving and rejuvenating our natural heritage. Under Project Tiger, we have conserved a total area of 3613.19 square kilometer in the Pake Tiger Reserve, Namdapha Tiger Reserve, and Kamlang Tiger Reserve. This year, I am pleased to propose the commencement of a comprehensive survey of degraded forest areas across our state. Over the next five years, we aim to leverage advanced 
GIS technologies and satellite imagery to accurately delineate these areas. We shall also undertake plantation efforts across identified degraded forest areas. Towards the technology adoption, I propose a pilot project for technology-assisted forest patrolling and communication network in the <coughs> sensitive forest areas. Acknowledging the bamboo in green, uh, bamboo is green gold, we will strengthen the Arunachal Bamboo Mission. I propose today that Im uh, we impose complete ban on plastic within eco-sensitive zones across our state. This would underscore our resolve to preserve and protect our dedicated ecosystem of our future generation together. Let us embark on this journey towards a cleaner and greener Arunachal. I propose to allocate rupees 83 crore this year for the Department of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. <coughs> we now have a robust Arunachal Pradesh police force strengthened with 15,285 personnel and 418 new vehicles, enhancing efficiency in policing. The establishment of 68 police stations, including seven specialized Mohila police stations, underscores a commitment to comprehensive communities safety. This year we shall initiate construction of the remaining 14 Mahila police station. Cross movement safety this year we will enhance pink patrolling with state of the art PCR vehicle to enhance safety and security for women. To bring a new technology in policing, I propose to uh, <coughs> crime mapping and monitoring of Itanagar region, uh, Itana capital region to start with using GIS, artificial intelligence, and machine and learning. <coughs> we appreciate Government of India for passage of uh, three transformative laws, the Bharatiya Naya Sanhita, Bharatiya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita, and the Bharatiya Suraksha Adhinium. These laws have taken effect from 1st of July 2024. To streamline the implementation of the new criminal justice system, we will procure 10 mobile forensic vans. The first phase, uh, five mobile for the forensic vans will be procured. One for each basin and equipment required for investigation of various offenses. <coughs> we shall also upgrade the State Forensic Science Laboratory at PTC Bandarua. Reiterating our commitment to law and order till that we have established 32 new courts, a mark increase from <coughs> just two in 2010. We are also working to expedite completion of the High Court building at UPR. We will expedite construction of correctional home at Julie and Central Jail at Kimin. We will also establish pro bono legal clinics in every district to provide essential legal aid to guidance to our citizens. We need critical infrastructure for our safety and disaster management to build up to our uh, fiber safety infrastructure. I propose a new building for fire station and <coughs> I propose new buildings for fire stations and procurement of 28 fire tender this year. <coughs> we shall also expedite the ongoing construction of nine new fire stations. I propose to allocate rupees 287 crore this year for various initiatives of the home, correctional and fire services. <coughs> Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, we have touched the lives uh, of approximately 15 lakh beneficiaries through Sarkar Aapke Dwar and Seva Aapke Dwar 2.0 by providing benefits and uh, entitlement uh, at doorstep. We shall revamp the Seva Aapke Dwar to ensure all eligible beneficiaries receive bene uh, benefits right at the doorstep. Therefore, I am proposing an allocation of rupees 10 crore for the conduct of the revamp Seva Aapke Dwar 3.0. We shall undertake dependent, independent evaluation uh, and impact assessment of flagship state scheme. We shall also <coughs> examine the scope for revision and improvement of scheme guidelines, including revision and eligibility criteria to ensure benefits of all flagship schemes with all intended and eligible beneficiaries. We shall launch Mukhamanti Vikasit Arunachal Fellowship under the which Youth from uh, premier institutions such as IIT, IIM, TISS will be uh, recruited to serve the district of the state for a period of two to three years to assist deputy commissioners in the de <coughs> design and implementation of the various policies and programs. This follows, uh, this uh, fellows will also assist the implementation of the bottom up planning of uh, 
uh, schemes and initiatives at the district level. I am also happy to propose implementation of social, uh, special compensatory allowance subsumed under tough location allowance at the enhanced rate <coughs> as recommended by the seventh Central Pay Commission to the regular state government uh, to the regular government employees as per eligibility with effect from 1-1-2024. One, one, <coughs> the areas of the uh, uh, from January 20 to July 24 will be paid in cash. The total uh, annual financial implication to the state exchequer will be approximately 92 crore. We shall shortly be launching a mission mode project to dovetail with Mission Karma Yogi Government of India for upskilling all existing and new government employees with a particular focus on recognition of prior learning and use of emerging technologies in governance. We shall also upgrade the Administrative Training Institute Nahar Lagan into the State Administrative Staff College. We are committed to the rollout of the human resource management system for the categories of government employees in the state. The <coughs> HRMS will <coughs> serve as a golden repository for the detail of all government employees right from recruitment to the retirement with end-to-end -end HR services to the government employees including personalized prompt submission of <coughs> requests for reimbursement, leave, tour application, training, management, etc. We have reconstituted the Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission and brought in <coughs> Arunachal Pradesh Public Examination measures to prevent unfair means in recruitment bill 2024 with strict provision for punishment like imprisonment and penalties, among others. We have devolved 10% of state's own resources to Panchayat. This year, I propose to devolve rupees 163.98 crores for the Panchayat. <coughs> Our state has achieved a significant milestone in digital governance by handling over 40 lakh files online through the e-office system, making us the first in the Northeast region to implement this transformative initiative. We have now extended e-office capabilities <coughs> to, the <coughs> to the circle level with a steadfast commitment to bringing this efficient and transparent system to the last mile. This initiative ensures that all interactions and transactions within the government are traceable and very um, verifiable very verifiable thereby building greater trust between the government and the people in the landmark year of e-governance we have launched 22 new citizen centric initiative aimed at enhancing transparency and efficiency making us the leader of leader in e-governance and implementation amongst the northeast state we have successfully implemented the electronic governance receive uh, receive accounting system in uh, revolutionizing our financial transaction. Spero has uh, achieved 100% online submission of APARs uh, for Group A and B employees, streamlining performance appraisal. Under the e-service initiative, we have issued 1,023,769 uh, certificates across 15 services significantly enhancing service delivery. Lastly, our e inner line permit system has generated 4.64 lakh ILPs, facilitating smoother and more efficient entry processes. The Chief Minister's dashboard is an automated, centralized web dashboard tool being utilized by the state government for promoting, for monitoring numerous de uh, departmental programs and schemes. It aligns with the Digital India goals of a digitally empowered society by providing real-time data on schemes and reports, enhancing transparency and delivery. I'm pleased to announce the integration of artificial intelligence based on tools in the existing CM dashboard to provide real-time data analytics and insights and enable informed decision-making and proactive governance and citizen uh, service delivery. We shall notify a new data center policy aimed at uh, establishing large format data centers in Arunachal Pradesh, leveraging our abundant land and reliable <coughs> hydropower supply. Recognizing that data is the new oil, this ambitious and attractive policy will be designed to position our state as a global data hub. By fostering an environment conducive to data infrastructure, we aim to drive economic growth 
innovation and technological advancement, making Arunachal Pradesh a key player in the world stage. We are committed to the holistic development of the Tirab Changlang Longding District. For this purpose, budget allocation for the Department of TCL will be enhanced. <coughs> Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, I call upon each member of this August House to join us in this mission. Together, let us work towards the Bikasit Arunachal Pradesh, where every citizen can thrive and contribute to the growth of our great nation. Let us reaffirm our commitment to the principle of Sabka Saar, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas, and Sabka Prayas, ensuring that our collective efforts pave the way for a brighter, more prosperous future for all. To conclude, I would like to reiterate once again the unwavering commitment of our government to the people of Arunachal Pradesh. It is a testament to our dedication to building a state that is inclusive, progressive, and prosperous. We stand at the pivotal moment in our history guided by the vision of Bikshit Bharat, for which Bikshit Arunachal is paramount and we are determined to achieve the same. Having the privilege of presenting this budget to the people of our state, I am reminded today of a poem <coughs> by, by Bharat Nat Ratna Sri Atal by Bihari Bhaspai Ji. The English version is like this. If the path to the goal is spread to our to if the path to the goal is spread out before you, why question the eternal nature of progress now? <coughs> If the path to the goal is spread out before you, why question the eternal nature of progress now? Why wander over smiles and happiness in weary labor? Whether successful or unsuccessful, the intentions are the same. Giving everything and asking for nothing, we must flow like the monsoon. We must walk in step with one another. Jai Hind, Jai Arunachal. Thank you.